Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you I am your host, Selassie Fiawena. We have gotten a new Black Stars head coach uh, who is preparing the team for the double header uh, versus Angola in March. Just next month, uh, the Black Stars will take center stage once again. We are going to talk about uh, comments coming in about uh, Chris Hutting and the, t the members of his backroom staff. Uh, John Painto has suggested that Quisia Pia join uh, Chris Hutton's backroom staff. Why? We'll have a listen to what John Painto said exactly. And players that are likely to miss uh, that game versus Angola. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. Half football merch links are in the description. Uh, purchase it to help this channel do much more for you here bring you amazing content let's jump right into it and chris huting has been announced as the latest black stars head coach five coaches uh, so far in the tenure of uh cat es or if i'm not mistaken milovan rajabaka kwesi apia ck akono and uh, otoado uh, four coaches in five years if i'm not mistaken and it has been a whirlwind. We have finally gotten Chris Huting. A year late, in my opinion. Nonetheless, we've gotten him. But uh, comments have been coming in on who should be in his backroom staff. And John Painto, a former player, has advised Chris Huting to appoint former Black Stars coach Kwesiapia as his assistant in order to succeed. Interesting. This is what he said. What he needs to do is to have someone like Kwesiapia John Paintel said. When Chris Hutton gets Kwesiapia in his team, they can even win the Nations Cup back to back because having his experience and Kwesiapia also having his experience and also knowing the culture of the game, I think it will be all that is needed. Wow, he added. Interesting comments coming in from John Paintel. So here, I find it quite interesting that he's suggesting that uh, Chris Hutton call on the services of coach Kwesia Pia. Uh, we all know what happened when Kwesia Pia was in charge at the helm for the Ghana Black Stars. He had all the authority, the autonomy, everything, uh, but it did not go according to plan. Why would you think that it will be any different with him as assistant coach of the Black Stars? Probably he's using that uh, notion of uh, having someone uh, who has uh, made mistakes before and probably learned from his mistakes. But Kwesiapia had two tenures. If he had learned from his first tenure of mistakes, it would have reflected in his second tenure. In his second tenure, he decided uh, to destabilize a team which did not need destabilizing, in my opinion, uh, by giving out the captainship uh, to Andre Ayu at such a time, a week to the African Cup of Nations not smart considering the fact that he himself was part of a team in the 1992 african cup of nations that had that done to them and we all know the damage it did to us in the final we lost penalties to ivory coast but you cannot deny uh, that having kwesiapia stripped of that captaincy and uh, giving it to abedi pele i think he should have learned better and not taking such a decision it did not help us it did not help us in 2019 as well when he repeated the same mistakes you would have thought he has led but clearly kwesiapia throughout the time no disrespect to him he's a great at identified talent he gave kudus mohammed his debut appearance for the ghana black stars obviously he spotted something we all did not see at the time and gave him this chance uh, but with all due respect to coach kwesiapia he's had his time he's had his chance he's had so much opportunity to play and coach the Ghana Black Stars and uh, he has not delivered even one final in the African Cup of Nations. What makes John Pinto think that Kwesiapia can do that with Chris Hutting as his assistant? But let me know what you think in the comments box. Do you agree with uh, uh, John Pinto's assertion uh, that Chris Hutting needs Kwesiapia as his assistant? to help him win as he says here back to back african cup of nations for the first time for ghana in 40 years 40 years plus let me know what you think in the comments box on what uh, john painter said about uh, kusiapia uh, joining the backroom staff of chris Hutting. i move on to my next story and it has to do with the players 
uh, who could be absent uh, as Chris Utick takes helm of Ghana's first assignment, which is the African Cup of Nations. Uh, we are going to play in the African Cup of Nations qualifiers uh, versus Angola. A doubleheader in March, late March, that game will be played. And some players have been marked as absent uh, because of injuries they will not be able to make it we'll run through the players and uh, we'll see what pool of players now chris chris Huting has to select from now ali dusaidu obviously had a surgery the defender injured for clement foot uh, game against lille in the french league huh? undergoing successful surgery the 22 year old is expected to recover in four weeks time Alidu was part of Ghana's squad for the World Cup. Elisha Owusu as well has been ruled out uh, for the rest of the season. He played for the Black Stars at the World Cup tournament. He's unfortunately uh, been ruled out for the season and could miss Ghana's game. Uh, Daniel Kofitra recently, I'm sure you've heard of him, the 26-year-old suffered a ruptured ligament and will be unable to play uh, for the rest of the season. He sustained an injury during a training session resulting in the tear of the cruciate ligament his club freiburg announced that the injury was serious and he will be out uh, for the rest of the season another player that has come and uh, has some sort of uh, um, injury recently he missed last night's game uh, for arsenal that title uh, possibly title deciding game they'll play manchester city again though uh, but thomas Partey got injured ahead of the crucial game versus man city uh, he trained uh, with the team on Tuesday but had to be sidelined in their match on Wednesday against Man City. It's feared that the player had a muscular problem and needs some time to recover. It's unknown if the midfielder could be available for Ghana's game. Joseph Painter as well suffered a shoulder injury. He revealed as much after his side lost in that game to Royal Antwerp, the 25-year-old, left the pitch in pain after efforts to get him back on the, pr on the pitch approved Futile Painter was expected to undergo a scan to determine the extent of the injury. He missed the World Cup. Uh, uh, it was a major talking point. So these are uh, five players that could uh, be out of the team for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. Uh, a big miss. Uh, some of them, Thomas Partey, especially uh, just a Painter. It'll be I'll be really pained to not see him play, especially considering the type of form he is in right now. And then we'll see if he can recover in time. Uh, just a month to go until uh, that game is played. Ghana versus Angola. Remember, uh, the first two games were played under the tenure of uh, a coach Otto Addo. Uh, we played those two games in preparation for the World Cup, Central African Republic, and then Madagascar. Uh, winning one and drawing one. We have four points on the board. Same point as Angola. Uh, two teams will go through from each group. So uh, qualifying for the African Cup of Nations should not be as big of a headache as uh, uh, it is or as many would think. I think uh, Black Stars, not to underestimate or to downplay the strength of the other teams in the group, uh, but qualification for 2024 AFCON in Ivory Coast should be playing sailing for Ghana. Anything is possible, but I think we should be through. So that has been it for today. <laughs> Interesting comments coming in from John Painzel on Kwesiapia joining the backroom staff for the Ghana Black Stars to help uh, Chris Utick with the AFCON back to back. He says his experience and that of Utick would be more than enough to get Ghana over the line in that competition. What do you think about it? And players that could miss Ghana's half-corn trip to Angola. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the rest of the week.